Well, boys, it's snowing out. Just grab some fuel from Casey's here. We've got all our things loaded up here. We're kind of running a smaller snow plowing business. We got our six by six gator hooked up here to the flatbed with another gator with a snow plow and a salt spreader. And then this cool little tractor here with the uh, another blade on it as well. And today we're going to be going around the neighborhood, plowing out lots of uh, different properties there, plowing the sidewalks, making sure everybody can get to work and do what they need to do. Anyway, we're all filled up. So we're going to hop in the gator and get going. By the way, if you guys enjoyed today, this video help me out by giving that like button a little tap it helps out the video a ton and i appreciate it so much and while you're down there if you're not subscribed yet subscribing helps me make videos just like this so buttons down there but you know that's up to you hold on beacons flashers we're all set now our trailer is slightly too big for this gator but we kind of make it work it's a six by six gator it's got a little bit of power to it got snow drifted all over the roads i think the snow plow should be out soon but uh we're gonna head to the residential area and see what we can get done there got the heat cranked in the gator it's a comfy ride at least better than being out in the cold that's for sure well this is our very first stop right here so we're just gonna pull up on the grass get unloaded and we'll get to work if my gator can make it up here oh yeah we're all good to be honest it probably would be smarter to pull this with a uh pickup truck but we run just a small little local areas so this works fine and i think we're gonna use the tractor today hopefully it does a good job but we'll find out and in my personal opinion this is one of the cooler toys we have gotta get stuff all the way from the front of the house they don't want any salt on the driveway so i think we're just going to leave the gator on the trailer there the one with the snow plow makes it just a bit easier the only problem with this uh blade on this tractor is we can't angle it that's the only sucky thing otherwise than that it's pretty much perfect for plowing this little spot flip some lights on get a little light on the situation here and that should about do it driveway is nice and clean let's load this back up and on to the next one only trouble is uh this is an open cab so it's just gets just a little bit chilly other than that it's all good oh boy we're spinning a little bit getting up here and there we go okay now we're off to the actual residential stuff well we're just pulling into town here looks like they haven't even cleared out the gas station yet that's not part of our contract there so we'll get on over to the house as we need to do well here we are uh let's just you know what we're just gonna keep it on the grass back here that way we have plenty of room to get this all plowed out i think this time we're just gonna unload everything because uh we're gonna use this gator instead of the uh, little tractor there little tractor works great but uh we need to spread some salt so using the gator will just be that much easier so i did finally get the tilting fixed on my blade which is sweet because now we can actually angle the snow one way or another which we could never do before so makes it a lot more easy hold on i forgot one thing beacons essential um i think i might have blocked that guy in there with the red van yeah he'll be all right we'll get him out there in a minute we'll just put some of the snow in his yard i'm sure he won't mind just a little bit gotta get your van out there we go got her now crap i think i forgot to bring a shovel now i'm not gonna be able to uh clean out the front entrance way as much as i wanted Eh, that'll work i guess we'll just have to bring a shovel for next time it didn't seem this bad when i left the house this morning there was just like, gonna be a little bit of snow to clear but uh i guess there was more than i thought we're about to make one heck of a snow pile here clean this dude's sidewalk out here perfect look at that don't get much better this dude on the other hand i uh i kind of mucked up a little bit and put a ton of snow in front of his driveway so let's see if we can get some of this out of here just a little bit actually you know what i probably don't even need a snow shovel i can get pretty dang close to the doors with this gator gotta do a little bit of back dragging here perfect look at that all right a little bit of salt and we'll be done here we'll just flip around and take a good pass and look both ways that'll be good okay so since we got everything unloaded already i'm just gonna rip down to the next client here and uh We'll get that done. Well, this is the guy's house right here. And unfortunately, he decided last time I plowed his yard that he was not going to pay me. I actually had one of my guys out on the job, and I know he did an excellent job because he sent pictures to me. And the place was immaculate, but the guy decided that he was going to complain and not pay me and this and that. So uh, we're going to give him something to complain about. Nothing harmless. No, no, no. We're, we're not out to wreck anything. You know, just maybe a little bit of uh, snow in front of his door yeah that'll do nicely because even after we came back and double checked everything to make sure it was perfect he still refused to pay so he's gonna have a clean driveway all right but uh difference is, is it's just gonna be piled all in front of his door which i'm sure he'll definitely appreciate oh yeah he can still open his door he's good we're not gonna block him in there we're just gonna give him a bit to shovel make sure his garage door is all clean here gotta make sure that's good all right now to the work that actually makes us our money he has got so much snow in front of his door there oh he's gonna love that we're pretty much out of salt here so i might have to go back to the gator and grab some more but i want to get uh one more job done down here that guy's got an entire barn in his backyard what 
the heck? Well, here we are. This is the place. This one's just super easy to plow because literally we just angle the blade and go right around their driveway. About as easy as it comes. Flip back around and do the same to the other side. Now I have to do a little bit of cleanup work this round. See, when a customer actually pays you, this is the kind of work you do. Make sure every little piece is clean, not leaving one bit. I almost forgot about the garage doors because there's not actually a trail going there because she never uses them, but we'll plow them out anyway. Who the heck has a garage and never uses it? We'll just kick this out onto the road here. The snow plows can deal with it. Coming in at only 15 minutes, this is one of the quickest jobs we have, and uh, we charge 150 bucks for it. So, pretty dang nice. That'd probably take at least an hour or two if you were doing it by hand. Hold on, I'm gonna drop the blade down here and we're gonna get some of this. Doing the snow plow's job right now. Heck, the city should just hire me. I'm out here just plowing the roads right now, which technically I think is kind of illegal. I don't know. Eh, we're rolling with it anyway. Texas barbecue? It's kind of getting to lunch. I'm kind of hungry. Eh, I'm kind of in the mood for some Casey's pizza anyway. Well, we had just enough salt and uh, fuel to get everything done here. So we're just going to load all this stuff back up here and get going back. But we still got more work to do. We're not finished just yet. It almost never ends. You know what? If I have it loaded up this way, it works a lot better. I don't know why I haven't done it like this before. But hey, you live and you learn, I guess. Come on, six by six. Don't slip out on me. I keep everything going on the trailer because it gets so dang cold. Turning it off and turning it on, it's just a pain in the butt. So it's better if it just stays running. Burns more fuel, but in the end, it's better for the equipment. Well, finally home. I'm just going to park this right over here. I'd put it in my barn back there, but yeah, it's fine right here. So I've still got to plow out my personal driveway, and that's what I got this for. I'd use it for residential stuff, but uh, it's just easier to plow out the driveway with it and just leave this truck nice. Well, Ratter, I think we might do the neighbor's house as well. Man, I love this Western plow. Works wonders. Although the only thing is with the F-350 with the tires that's gone on it, it doesn't really work the best for plowing, but we make it work. Gotta make sure the neighbor's yard's all done too. Just about done here, cleaning up the last little bits on the edges. There, now the neighbor can actually get to their car. I'm sure they'll be happy about that one. So I was just about finished plowing on my driveway and I got a call from my buddy James, who has somehow managed to get his Bronco stuck. I don't know what he's doing out in the middle of a kind of storm with his Bronco. Trying to do some off-roading, I guess. He got stuck, so we're gonna have to go pull him out. His Bronco doesn't even have a cab. I don't know what the heck he's trying to do. I'm trying to find him at the moment here. Oh, there he is. He must have got himself hung up or something. Yeah, there he is. He almost flipped it too. Good grief. All right, well, I guess we'll back up here and see if we can get him out. Shouldn't be too hard. He's already got a chain hooked up, which is perfect. Okay, let's just give him a little bit of a tug here. Don't flip. Don't flip. Oh, he just needed like the tiniest little tug ever and he was good. I guess he couldn't back down because he was hung up on that ledge. Look at this. Look at this ledge. James, you gotta be more careful, bud. Yeah, all right, see you later. That gum guy always screwing around, get himself stuck. It's literally snowing out right now. We're supposed to have a blizzard in the next, like, hour or so. So, I'm not too sure what he's doing. Crazy guy. Awesome, driveway's clean. It's still snowing, so I'm sure we'll have to go up plowing eventually again. But, uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, and goodbye.